yeah, yeah. It's your boy, Pop a Lot. We back with another episode of Tales from the Wild Side. Now, most people that know of E Money Bags, if you know of E Money Bags, it's probably from this. So I'm telling my man E Money Bags, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Right. So, me and Bags chilling in the studio one day. Me and Lex, huh? Me and Bags chilling in the studio one day in Long Island. This place called the Music Palace. It was a Friday night, and I went to the store. I just came back on the radio, it was called Master Flex, and it was Jay Z, Freeway, BC, and the Young Guns. It was all up there freestyling on Flex Show. And I was listening to it, because it was going in. I was like, okay, it's going in. Let me, uh, before I get out the car, let me finish listening to the radio. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm listening and shit. All of a sudden, I hear Benny say, I creep on like a quiet storm. I'm like, hold up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga trying to go at us just now. So I'm listening closer now. So now just, then he got some, he had some nigga named H Money Bags up there, rapping. Or H Money Bags. So now I go in the studio. I said, yo, E, come outside real quick. So E, come outside. I'm like, let's, let's do this shit. So E, like, what the, what did he just say? H Money Bags? Man, who fuck is that? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, son, think it bite your name, son? <laughs> He's like, oh, I told you I knew that nigga from high school, son. That nigga know me. He know E Money Bags. My name was E Money Bags back then, son. The niggas biting my name, son. I was like, son, you know what? The niggas just shot this small pieces in there. He's like, what? I said, come on, let's go inside the Kawhi 97. So we went inside the studio. We Kawhi 97. Somebody picked up. I said, yo, it's Prodigy. Um, I'm going to Jay Z. Yo, P, he just left, man. They just left. They just got in the elevator and just, I said, yo, go get him. He said, all right. They went outside to go get him. JV came back upstairs. Got on the phone. Yo, what's up, yo? I said, yo, man. Somebody want to talk to you. Gave the phone to E. He like, yo, what up, nigga? Hey, yo, who this? He said, E Money Bags, man. What up, nigga? He said, oh, oh, what up, yo, what up, what up? Yeah, yo, what up with this? Who the fuck is H Money Bags, son? Who, who this nigga you down there? Uh, come on, nigga, you don't try to play me, son. You know, you know, niggas think that's my name, son. That's my shit. That's what I'm running with, nigga. You got somebody with my name, nigga? And the bags start arguing. So Jay Z said some shit to bags like, nigga, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Whatever, nigga, whatever. Bags like whatever. Oh, nigga, so I, right, you know what it is when I see you then, right? So then Jay Z said, yeah, you know what it is. And that's like, oh, word? All right, cool. Bang, hang up, right? Bang. Boom, son. I'm gonna fire this nigga, son. This nigga playing games with me, son. I'm, I'm clapping this nigga. Ah! to see. Right, this right. E-Money Bags talk for y'all. Right, right, right. I'm me. This name comes from the grip of women got the rap. Right. God bless the dead to stretch. Rest in peace. Live squad. Right. Right. Bring it back to the Tupac era. You know what I mean? You right. go back right. through the history to shout out to my name from there. Right. Right. Then bring it up to the Foxy and Oz, to the P, to the Nori. Shout out to Nori, to the real rappers from Queens. You know what I'm saying? Right. P, right. we here. Right. We here. We holding this down. This Queens right here. But today we are gonna talk about a little known fact about e-money bags and this is going to take us way back to december 25th 1990 the forces of nature slow the forces of desert shield and G.I. celebrate Christmas very carefully. This is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Tonight, sitting in for Tom, is John Cockburn. Good evening and Merry Christmas. The timetable for war in the Gulf may slip well past the U.N.'s January 15th deadline for Iraq to pull out of Kuwait. The reason? Uncertainty about the readiness of U.S. forces. While most people were at home wrapping presents and the U.S. was having issues preparing to go to war with Saddam Hussein in Iraq for the first time, at 750 Sunrise Highway in Valley Stream, New York, in Long Island, right side of New York City, it was a packed movie theater 
of people ready to watch the premiere of Godfather Part 3 starring Al Pacino. And it was a few soldiers in that crowd and they didn't have any problem with going to war. Now, based on a wide variety of sources, Eric E. Moneybag Smith was one of the young soldiers at the theater that day. Now, based on media coverage from the New York Times, it was stated that a group of six youth were observing the movie and 25 minutes or so into it, another group of 10 individuals came into the movie theater causing a lot of noise, causing a lot of ruckus. It was said that insults began to get thrown between the group of six and the group of two. E-Money Bags being with the group of six as well as a guy by the name of Lawrence Bartley, as well as several other men. Now, at some point during the insults, 25 shots were fired in the theater. Now, out of those 25 shots, four people were hit. Patrice Candaria, 23, of Island Park, was hit by a bullet in the right shoulder and was listed in critical but stable condition at South Nassau Community's Hospital in Oceanside. Her husband, Marco, 23 years old at the time, was wounded in the upper arm and he was listed in stable condition at Franklin General Hospital in North Valley Stream. Now, Terrain Baines, 17, of New York City, was shot in the left eye and he was listed in critical condition at Mary Immaculate Hospital in Queens. And last but not least, gonna be Tremaine Hall, 15 years old of New York City. He was shot in the head and he died after having surgery at Mercy Hospital at nearby Rockville Center. Now, in a sort, after the smoke cleared, it was determined that the shooting was from two groups. One titled the Young Guns that E-Money Bags was allegedly with. Another group, called the Lost Boys would go on to have fame in the music business years later. I seen that four people would end up being charged with that crime and arraigned on several different charges. Now, Michael Bennett was arraigned on second degree murder charges. He was 21 years old and he was from the 186 block or 186th street in Jamaica. Lawrence Bartley, who we spoke of, who was 18, and he was from the Laurelton section of Queens. Lauren Williamson, who was 18, and he was from the 231st Street in Cambria Heights. And a guy by the name of Vernargus Hilton, who was 20 years old, and he was from 115th Street in South Albany, Queens. Now, it was a 31 count indictment that was handed down, and it also charged the four with assault reckless endangerment, possession of a weapon, and criminal use of a firearm. It was wide speculation that a bullet from E Money Bag's gun was the one that ended Terrain Baines, who was 17 years old of New York City in the left eye. I couldn't find any evidence to corroborate that, but I have no doubt that E Money Bags was at that movie theater with that group. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Twitter, it's your boy Popalot, P O P underscore a underscore lot and we're gonna be back with some more real trill spill shit y'all already know what it is